Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a quick sequel to our release video of the TCP client for D2R. And today I just wanted to go ahead and go you, show you how you can set up and use different mods uh, with the program. Uh, as I know some of you will be, you know, using different, uh, different mods depending on what you like. So I didn't want to make uh, instructions for all of it in a single video. Um, anyways, enough yammering, let's jump right into it. Um, so to... Uh, go ahead and use uh, this package with different mods. Um, as I instructed in the initial video, uh, what really matters here is if we go into the optional content folder in either, uh, whether you're using the old shortcut method where you create a shortcut and then you go to properties, find target, you go to the end and you add your references here. So for example, we might add uh, dash mod, TCP if we're just trying to play the retail version that is included uh, with this download. Um, so we would do dash mod space TCP space dash text if we wanted to do that. Or if you had another mod like RMD or BT Diablo, etc. Um, that you wanted to put in there instead, you could obviously do it that way. So that's one way to go about it. Um, however, the way I recommend, as I said in the video, is just to go ahead and use the plugin system for that. And this way you can just open up config.json and you can type in those same exact arguments in here instead. Um, and this will let you choose which uh, mod to run by editing this. Um, and so we're going to assume you've edited it uh, how you want to, uh, but now you need to, you know, install the actual mod files. Uh, a lot of you may be used to deed to our launch and may be missing that right about now, um, but I will show you how to manually install things um, so you can get going with that. Um, so, uh, one of the downloads that you may have uh, noticed, uh, at least for you remodded players, um, is going to be listed both in the video description and in our Discord, um, so make sure you download that separately from the actual game files. Um, and the process to install it is going to be pretty simple. Um, so we're going to open up that zip and you're going to see a single folder, rmd-mp, and we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste that or click it and drag it, whatever is easier for you. And we're going to put that into our mods folder of where we installed D2R. Um, so again, for me, I, uh, my D2R name is Video Demo right now. Obviously, yours would be whatever you named it, like the TCP release. Uh, but anyways, uh, you're going to see a mods folder that already exists in this release. And you're going to simply paste that uh, mod in there. Um, again, you'll see TCP that already is there. Um, so you're just going to paste it in there right along with it. And then assuming you edited that config.json to point to rmd-mp um, for the mod name, then it's going to go ahead and open that. Um, and then again, you're going to change that depending on whatever mods you have in here. Uh, you have BT Diablo or Resurgence or, you know, whatever other mod uh, has converted to this build. Um, then you can go ahead and put their mod files in this mod folder and then change that config.json to point here instead. Um, so pretty straightforward process, but let me go ahead and show you. Um, I've already launched uh, with the mod before, but I'm going to show you both of them um, just so you can see how easy it is to switch. So again, if we look at our config.json right now, I'm telling it to launch with remodded. Um, so let's go ahead and just start the game for that. And then I will change it uh, while this one is still open. Um, so you can see it launch retail right alongside it. All right, so here's, you know, we're modded with our custom UI and our in-game menu and credits and all that fun stuff, right? Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that config.json. We're gonna change this to TCP, which is the included kind of retail mod, no other edits, but enabling TCP. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game again. You can multi-box in this build if you'd like. And as you can see here, now that my settings are all different, um, now it is loading the kind of retail settings. So uh, just a normal mod now, um, so you can play either one. And obviously, uh, if you're playing just the retail setting, you can use this button instead. Um, but that's how you can quickly see how you can just load up multiple mods by editing that file and uh, then starting it how you'd like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little clip on how to use and switch mods with the new setup. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Take care. Bye.